At some point in every boat owner's life, you're going to have to take your boat out of the water. Maybe that's in your backyard, maybe it's in a boat yard, but there are routine maintenance things and new projects that have to be done regardless of whether you have a new boat or an old boat or somewhere in between. There are two pieces of gear that you might not have thought of that will help make your time in the boatyard more productive, more efficient, and less painful. Hi, I'm Nika Waters, and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. It's another boatyard edition, and this time I'm talking about sawhorses and shade. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by MantisMarine.com, maker of the Mantis Anchor, now available in models with and without a roll bar. Proven to set reliably in the most challenging bottoms, the Mantis Anchor digs like no other, making anchoring safer and boating more enjoyable. Mantis Marine brings to market practical, durable, and affordable marine products, including anchoring gear, scuba diving accessories, a rechargeable waterproof headlamp for hands-free lighting, and their newest, a solar charging navigation light. Visit mantismarine.com and see for yourself. Unfortunately, in the boatyard, we have no need of our wonderful Mantis Anchor because we're out and on stands. But I can't wait to be back in the water and need that. Meanwhile, though, there are a couple of pieces of gear that make time in the boatyard a whole lot less stressful and hopefully faster. First thing, sawhorses. Being able to work at standing level is a true game changer. We've always had sawhorses, whether we've snagged them from the boatyard or brought our own, but refinishing boat parts on the ground or even having to continually stoop to refresh paint trays will quickly make your back ache. We hadn't thought anything about how important it was to have sawhorses until we saw a fellow cruiser in a yard in Deltaville spend absolute hours bent over working on building a new wind vane on the ground. He had grabbed some of the timbers that are used for bow propping up in the yard, and that's what he was putting the wind vane parts on. He had to stop every so often to massage his back, and I honestly don't know how he did it. Meanwhile, we had our boat parts that we were varnishing or painting out on our sawhorses. We were cleaning fasteners. Everything was at a very easy to work at level. You can buy pairs of plastic sawhorses. They might fit aboard your boat if it's a little bit larger than ours. You can take them with you as you travel. But even if you don't have room or don't have those plastic sawhorses, it's easy enough to actually build a pair of your own sawhorses just with some two by fours and some screws. You can use these sawhorses by themselves as just the base for things. You can top it with a piece of plywood as a work table. You can extend their usefulness with a couple more 2x4s that form the basis of a longer work surface. We don't have the room on Calypso or Mischief to carry even the plastic ones with us, but we've already talked about the fact that one of the very first things that we're going to do when we get to a boatyard in some other place is we're going to figure out access to a hardware store to buy lumber to build our own sawhorses. Yes, I'm sure that wood elsewhere is going to give us a big pause, but the time saved by being able to work comfortably will be absolutely well worth it. As I'm talking about this and thinking about it, maybe we should just take our hand-built sawhorses apart, two of them, and carry the pieces with us. They'll break down to almost nothing. Sawhorses not only save your back, they keep your pieces of whatever you're working on, whether it's tools or boat parts or what have you, keeps them out of the dust and the muck of the boatyard. And that's actually not to be underestimated, the importance of that. So first of all, get yourself some sawhorses. Two are critical. More than that, great. Two as a bare minimum. And then the second really important thing to have in a boatyard to make life there a lot better is shade. It's less important in winter conditions, at least from a temperature perspective, but shade is absolutely critical for sun protection and relative cool when working in warmer climes. This can be accomplished a number of ways. You can move your workspace with the sun. 
You could set up a tarp over a sawhorse-based workstation in between two boats. Maybe this is something to get together with a neighbor on to put the tarp between your two boats and then you both have a space for work in the shade. We've seen people just grab a big umbrella and rig it up in a way to protect you. But anything that offers a barrier between you and the sun, casts a shadow between you and the sun, is spectacular. Jeremy actually recently grabbed a piece of cardboard and he tipped it up and fixed it in place so that he could be working in the taffrail, which is normally in totally full sun, and he just couldn't handle it anymore. So he grabbed a piece of cardboard, poof, instant shade, and an immediate drop in temperature. A friend who was facing an extended boatyard stay wound up buying one of those pop-up tents. The Maybe it's not really pop-up, but it is the kind that you might see at a tailgate party, and set up that tent next to her boat. The only limit is your imagination, but shade is definitely critical. Sure, there are lots and lots of other pieces of kit that make working in the boatyard a whole lot easier. Extension cords, even if you have to run them from your own boat because there's not a power outlet available. A work light, if you need to work at night because maybe it's cooler at night. A hose with a pressure nozzle, not just a hose that you once you turn it on, it's gushing all the time, but a pressure nozzle, which allows you to easily start and stop the water. Being in the boatyard isn't my favorite part of cruising, but it is actually part of boat ownership. These pieces of gear, namely sawhorses and shade, will make boatyard time a whole lot easier. Now, if you're just hiring it out and having the yard do everything, then that's fine you don't have to worry about it. But if you're doing any work yourself, both sawhorses and shade are definitely important pieces of your boatyard kit. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you when neither one of us is in the boatyard. And maybe we don't need those sawhorses. And the shade is important just to keep us comfortable at anchor. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love hearing from our listeners. We love it when you share us with your friends. We love it when you don't forget to subscribe and never miss one of these episodes. As a side note, the Boat Galley podcast and the Boat Galley in general, we will be at the Annapolis Sailboat Show in October. So if you're on the fence about whether to come to the show, please come to the show. Both Carolyn and I are teaching classes at Cruisers University and we'll be at the booth every day. So we would love to meet you. Stop by and say hello. Have the most spectacular week. <laughs>